<laughs> yeah. All righty. All righty, kids. Good afternoon. Thank you for coming. Um, oh, I am loud. I can really hear myself. It's right. Uh, thanks for coming out today. Thanks for doing a little anti-viral vinyasa um, in my backyard with my friends. That's my country drawl right there. That, that's what a guy from the Bronx sounds like with, when he tries to sound southern. Um, Alrighty, do your thing. You know exactly what to do. Welcome online, friends. And uh, these are um, just some weird times, but it certainly, certainly, certainly has given us an opportunity to grow. Certainly me, not just around the waist, which I seem to be doing that pretty efficiently as I stay home a little more often. But uh, in venturing out into this new medium and avenues and, and venues for, um, for doing yoga. So we got creative, and with the help of my friends, um, with all the help of my friends, uh, we figured out a ways to reach you virtually and then record these things and offer these things um, in different ways. And it's changed. So I'm, I'm doing some continuing education at, right now. And the, the biggest frequently asked question was, is when you're doing some online training is you have to do a, a recorded version of yourself to, to show that you have learned or do whatever. So everybody had these frequent the facts, the frequently asked questions. Mine was like, just go to my YouTube channel, yeah? Oh. <laughs> we got hours of stuff for y'all. What do you want? It with a band, without a band, fire? What you want? So uh, <laughs> it was fun to have these options. Before, it was always like, I would leave classes every once in a while as a student, with her, as a matter of fact, and uh, as a teacher even. And every once in a while, I'd be like, damn, that was good, man. That was good. And I could never replicate them ever, ever again. And uh, so now it's fun. At least there's some options. And if one person, if just one person accidentally clicks on that silly ass picture of my face and does yoga for the first time, and it, it just goes and it quite potentially could, you know, change somebody's life. And it could, you know, they could share it with their kid and their kid could share it with their friend and who knows. So I'm stoked to just do it. We got rain. Yeah. Anything we have to do? Okay. All right. Well, so am I going to get electrocuted? <laughs> first post is. <laughs> Amy, run me a tub and get me an extension cord. I'll be about 60 minutes. Tall enough. All righty, baby, sit. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. My name is Pickles. This is the Bohemian Song Society. Thank you very much. Uh, do your thing. Go enjoy yourself. Go have fun. Embrace the practice. Go out there and find your way. So for the last couple of days, we've been doing things that are a little bit funky. Embrace them. If anything else, it'll definitely take you to the edge of your comfort zone, and then maybe, just maybe, you'll jump. And uh, with age comes fear and, and smallness and bullshit. That's bullshit. Oh, listen to that. I'm so being sarcastic. With age comes wisdom. With age comes more freedom. With age comes the ability to share, you know? And, uh, and really, 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 really live in a world of, of, of compassion, where compassion comes first, and then that's your reactionary way. So breathe in through your nose. Let's go, babies, or I'll talk all day, for God's sakes. Put a microphone on this boy and never shut his mouth. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out long and slow. Breathe in and fill your ribs. Exhale long and slow and soften the edges. Breathe in peace. Retain that breath. Exhale it a little bit at a time. Shoulders out of the ears. Periphery of the body becomes smooth and away from the plum. Amudahapra Shakra, you take the next breath in. You take it in from the root floor. You lengthen the spine. You get big as you could be. You spread your ribs wide with prana. You hold it for a brief glimpse at the moment. And you let it go slow. <clears throat> Good. Now, as those ripples on your conscious legs seem to go away. We have still waters, a place where we can practice honest yoga. Now the next breath, I invite you to engage in your ujjayi pranayama. Breathe in through the nose, but brush your tonsils. Make ocean breath. <coughs> Excuse me. Gentle ocean waves lapping up and back into the sea of your little state of your beachy consciousness. You settle things. You start to take control. The control of your chitta consciousness. You use every tool in the belt, and if you can't find one, maybe we'll find one today. And watch that them go in the fire, though. <laughs> Good. Breathe in, peace. Get a rock, Bradford. Get her a rock or a board. Sorry. <laughs> For outdoor production. 
Breathe in. Good. Left. The bottom and next exhalation, take the shoulders to the ears. Inhale them up. Contract the scapula. The shoulder blades are back. Fingers find the floor behind you. You turn the palms over. Reach out. Get your whole bunch of that now. Thumbs together. Palms together. Reach, but stay rooted. Slowly bring only the chin to the chest as you reach back and spread the ribs wide. Alejandra Banda. Keeping the biceps behind the ears. Flex the wrists. Lift the pelvic floor, push away side walls, chin to chest, scoop out your belly. Inhale, turn the palms over, reach. Exhale, push away side walls, chin to chest. Reach that navel towards the spine, but lift it slightly higher. Send the diaphragm high in the rib cage. Inhale, lift. Exhale, push away side walls. Nicely done. Keep the left hand down, inhale the right, look up to it, look up to it, and slowly fold now to the left. Look down at that left hand, spread the fingers wide, push that mat away. Send that sit bone back into the mat. Gaze up into the palm. Good, roll that shoulder forward, sweep it onto the other side, inhale in the left arm, slowly exhale, fold it. Gaze down at that right hand, push it away, spread the fingers wide, energize through the index finger and thumb, length along the left side body, gaze up. Good, drop that shoulder down, sweep it across, inhale the right, and move them with your breath. Let's dance, willow trees. Oh, let it roll now. You don't need my cue. Move at your own impetus, your own cadence. Follow your breath, pranayama, vinyasa. Movement linked at a specific time to the breath. Dance and break the rust off your ass. Good. Few more sweeps. Your eyes stay closed. Nothing to see here, babies. Just movement. Movement with my friends. Good. Come through on equal sides one more time and then inhale both arms together. Exhale. Push away sidewalls. Stop at three and nine. Flex the wrist as far as you can to the right and left. Start to create space in the upper back. So those rhomboids are stretched wide across now as the shoulder blades reach in opposite directions. Turn the palms towards the front of the room. Slowly bring the right arm under the left. Walk your fingers back. Till them elbows stack. When they do, bring the backs of the forearms together. Garundasana. Feel the space between your chicken bones now. Inhale, lift. Oh, lift them higher. Exhale, round the upper back. Tip your ego forward. Touch just with the fingertips and inhale up. Untether the arms. Reach, reach, reach. And this time on the exhalation, twisting to the left. The right hand comes outside that left knee. Your spine gets as long as the flag pulls. You reach for the sky on the inhalation. Exhale, you let it loose. Navel, rib, shoulder, chin, eyes. Close the eyes. Oh, open your heart. Nicely done. Untether that posture. Come on back through center. Grab those knees, remove any flesh from those sits bones. Grab them with a firm purchase, pull your heart through, hinge forward, drop your belly, and look up. Exhale right here, inhale, send the crown of the head high. Exhale, round the back, chin to chest, scoop out your belly. Inhale, come forward, this time right there at the SI joint, hinge forward with a flat back and take your hip circles to the left. Ground down through the sit bones. You know the movement, I love it. It's just a way to shake some of the rust off me. It's just a great way to close my eyes and look inward. It's just a great way to go ahead and connect with my breath and start to visualize what happens. So my spine becomes like a stir, you know? In that pelvic bowl where we distribute stress. And I move around and I learn of myself. Atta yoga. Nushasana. And so is the commencement of yoga. Come on through center. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale the shoulders and then the arms. Interlace the fingers. Turn them towards the sky. Send the palms high. Reach further. Reach, but stay rooted. Reach. Keep reaching. Slowly bring the chin to the chest of the Handra Bandha. Bend them elbows. Send them back and squeeze them together. Lift the heart. Look up. Oh, yeah. Exhale, wrap those biceps to the ears, round the upper back and forth. Good. Inhale up and untether the arms. Bring them right down through center. Slow by your third eye, mindful not to judge. Slow by your lips as you remember to say kind and truthful words. And then plant them into your chest and set a real intention. 
something that you need to create peace within and around yourself. Yeah. Gaze softly into the room, untether the arms, and reach high. Exhale, push away sidewall. Stop at three and nine. Turn those palms towards the front of the room and spread the fingers wider. Take the thumb all the way over to the pad in front of the pinky. Then wrap those fingers around. Squeeze that thumb. Reach, reach, reach. Spring the hands wide. Good. Bring the navel in close. And on the exhalation, left arm under the right. Walk them back. Give yourself a squeeze. Stacking the elbows. Bring the backs of the arms together. Garandasana. Opening the shoulders. Warming them up. Creating space. Tip your eagle up. Exhale. Tip that eagle forward. Inhale up and reach. Untether the arms. Reach higher. Higher. And this time in the exhalation, twist into the right. The left hand coming outside the right knee. Get length as you inhale. Length, length, length. Exhale, ring it out. Soften the skin on your face. To create more and more space between each vertebral body so we can squish it. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Untether that posture. Grab them knees. Remove the flesh. Hinge forward. Drop your belly, take your gaze up. See the variation of cow. Exhale, inhale, send the crown ahead high. Exhale, cap flexion of the spine. Lean back, engage your core, chin to chest. Inhale up. Now, swan dive, lead with your heart. Follow the heart's knowing. And take them hip circles in the other direction. Mindful again to ground them in. Mindful again to be strong behind your navel. Allow your upper body to bloom. Relax the head, neck, shoulders, and face. Ear to the shoulder, chin across the chest, the eyelids soft. Space between the eyebrows, smooth. Low jaw, barely flopping. There should be drool going on your knees by now, silly gooses. Big, giant, organic movements that make you feel good. As you just enrolled in some self-study. How about it, self-study? Come on through center, sit up nice and tall. Come on up and over, clear your props. Leave them there, you know how we like it. Keep the knees out wide, hook the toes. Pull the heart through, look up. Now soften your belly, contraction out of your bum. Your shoulders are in your ears, so get them out. Send them back and down, lift your heart, look up. Untether them feet. Let's walk them. Everybody's favorite pose, the fro. 90 in the hip, 90 in the knee, 90 in the ankle. Turn the inner ankle down. Now take all contraction out of those the little, the center parts, the nuances, the subtleties that are keeping that groin close. So right now, take an inhalation. And on the exhalation, relax those inner quads. Oh, dang, there it goes. Now, inhale. Exhale. Take more contraction out of your butt. Oh, there it goes. Oh, good God. Slowly place the hands under the shoulders, but hug the ribs. Shoulders are back and down and out and away. Lift just your heart. Soften your low belly. Look up. Oh, Madonna mio. Bring the toes together. Lift the knees. Meet me in table. Yeah, see, yeah, see. Here we go. Welcome aboard. Let's do it. Wrist, elbow, and shoulder in line. Micro bends as you engage the musculature. Mindful not to stack the bones. Spread the fingers wide. Turn the hands back now. So quick, we put all the weight on the ball, the saddle of the hand. Uh-uh. Push down the top of the feet. Bring the shoulder girdle in front of the wrist. Lean forward. Engage your core. Exhale. Bring that bum back. Stretch across the bottoms of the forearms. Keep that hand down. Oh, yeah. Good. Come through center. Turn them back around. When you do, the knees are hip distance apart. You tuck your toes. Your eyes and the elbows come forward. Drop your belly. Pull your heart through. Look up. Marjasana. Pitalasana. Cat and cow. Exhale. Round the back. Tuck toes, drop your belly, pull your heart through. And exhale, round the back, cat. Oh, tuck them, drop them, pull them through, let's lift. And exhale, really embellish the movement, waking up the thoracic spine. Good. Come through neutral. Inhale, the left leg. Square the hips and shoulders, come to just the fingertips, all ten. Okay, they're the pads of your fingers. Nice try. Come to the fingertips, kitties. Oh, now we're getting it. Square the hips, engage the core. Now look, we can distribute some of that weight with equanimity, creating oneness. Drop the hand down, round the back, knee to chest. Inhale it back. 
kicks in that right foot open to the left the kneeling variation of Artish Andrasana if you want to bind it let it rip if you don't you don't but you lift your heart you look back you serve yourself without ego oh yeah nicely done release the foot and reach up rotate the upper body the left hand comes down immediately the right hand comes forward you reach a long line from the right middle finger through the heel exhale round the back elbow to knee inhale reach Turn the palm down, flex the foot and rotate it to the left. Exhale, elbow in, knee up, squeeze. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Oh, inhale, reach. Cactus, strong behind your belly. Exhale, back, squeeze. Keep the hand under the shoulder, extend the left foot, flex. Give it a pump. Give it a pump. Oh, that's nice. Drive the right hand down, drop the left foot, round the upper back, inhale. Turn that hip in and out, whatever it takes to find no impingement, reach. Drop the left hand to the inner edge, look up to the right and then fall to the left. Breathe. Parigasana. Gaze to the right hand, inhale the left bicep to the ear. Get deeper, the left bicep touches the ear and you get deeper. Deeper, let it go. Ground down through that right knee, let it go. Inhale up, touch the fingers. Drop the hand to the heels, square the hips and shoulders, lift your heart. Oh, yeah. Chin to the chest. Come on, forward. Hands underneath the shoulders. Round the back knee to chest. Inhale it back. Hover the elbows. Come forward. Touch your chin and chest. And inhale up. Round the back knee to chest. Place the foot between the hands. Low lunge. Lining the knee with the ankle. Bring the right hip forward. Arms in front. Plant the shoulders back and down. Lift them past the ears. Lift your heart, Anjani Asana. Lift it. Exhale, rain in frame. Extend the leg. Go to Hanumanasana. Inhale up, bend the knee. Bring them with you. Come on, lift your heart. This time we interlace the fingers, push them towards the sky, chin to the chest. Then open up and look back. Exhale, frame and rain. Inhale up. Oh, yeah. Drop the left hand behind. Spread your fingers wide. Reach up and look back. Bring that right hip forward more. Allow your body to be softer. Exhale, slowly bring the right hand down to the inner edge to the left. Open that left shoulder, twist it behind the label. Open. Settle in, come onto the knife edge of that left foot. Lean forward enough to bend the right knee. There's your foot. Grab it with your left hand. Pull it into your bum and give it a little tap. If it's available, if it's not, it's not. Good. Release the foot, bring the left hand inside. Tuck the toes, engage the quad, find your high lizard lunge. Breathe peace. Good, rounding the upper back, inhale, left leg high. Exhale, round the back, knee to chest. Inhale it up. Bend the knees, stack the hips, look under your left armpit. Good. Exhale, round the back, knee to chest. Inhale it up. Bend that knee. Look underneath your right elbow. Send it over the top, funky wild thing. Oh, yeah. Rotate the upper body. Left hand down. Left leg high. Exhale, round the back. Knee to chest. Inhale it up. Look between your thumbs. Steady your gaze. Spread the fingers wide on the left hand. Throw your right hand in your pocket. Yes, yes. Drop the right hand down, round the back knee to chest. Place it under the navel, inhale the right foot. Wrap the elbows, touch your chin and chest. <coughs> inhale up, right knee meets the left. Walk them back, meet me in toe stand. Good. Nice, tuck the tail under, drop the hands. Lift the heart high, place them on the back of the arms. Fuck us in a crow. Fly, babies. Fly. Yes. Trust your heart to know and lift the heart. Good. Nicely done. Come on out. Sit on your heels. And make your way to your table. We'll do the other side. All righty. So align the wrist ankle. Excuse me. Wrist, elbow, and shoulders. Drop your belly. Pull your heart through. Look up. Exhale. Round the back, cat. Oh, tuck your toes, drop your belly, lift up. And exhale, round the back out. 
Left knee in towards neutral and bring the right leg back. Square the hips and shoulders. Exhale, round the back, knee to chest. Inhale it back. Take the left foot off your mat. Kickstand as you open to the right. A kneeling variation of Ardha Chandrasana. Reach up with the right hand. Reach back with the foot. Bend the knee. Find the posture if it serves you. And don't if it don't. Good. Release the foot. Reach up with the right hand first. Rotate the upper body. Bring the right hand down. As soon as it does, square the hips and shoulders. Inhale the left. Exhale, round the back. Elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Turn that palm down, flex the foot and rotate it to the right. Exhale, bring the elbow back to the knee up, squeeze. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze. Keep the left hand on the shoulder, extend the right leg. Give it a pump. Pump, pump, pump. Drop the right foot down, round the upper back, inhaling as we prepare for Parigasana. Reach up high. Drop the right hand to the inner edge of the right leg. Look up to the left and fold to the right. The gate pose. Create length along the left side body. And then inhale the right bicep to touch the ear. Exhale, get deeper. Ground down through that left knee. Exhale, get deeper. Keep that left shoulder open. Deeper, inhale up. Drizzle the fingers, touch it to the heel. Square your hips and heart. Breathe, peace. Slowly, chin to chest. Hands underneath, round the back. Knee to chest. Inhale behind you, eyes to the elbows forward as you touch your chin and chest, dancing kitty. Inhale up, round the back. Place that foot between the hands in line with the knee. Left hip forward. Hands in front. Shoulders back and down, hearts ready to go. Left hip ready to go. Inhale the arms. Lift the back ribs. Lift the front ribs. Take your gaze up and then maybe even back. Anjali Asana. Jewel version of our friend Hanuman. Hanuman Asana. Slowly exhale. Rain and frame. Extending the right leg. Ardu Hanuman. Inhale up. Align it with the ankle. Come on. Good. Interlace the fingers. Turn the palms towards the sky. Bring the chin to the chest. Now reach back with those palms. Now open the ribs and look up and then back. Oh, hell yeah. Exhale, extend the right leg and frame. Oh, inhale up. Make it big this time, dramatic as hell. Drop the right hand over to the left hip, walk it over. Spread the fingers wide, reach high. Open up this right deltoid. Open up your heart. Close your eyes for a breath. Open your ears. Slowly bring the chin to the chest, the left hand inside the foot. Open up as you slowly turn to the right. Good. Come to the knife edge of that right foot. Settle into that hip deeper. Lean forward enough, not collapsing in the shoulder girdle. Bend the left knee. It falls into your right hand. It falls there. Practically a gift. Bring your heel to your bum now. Give it a little bump. Oh, that's nuts. Good. Release the foot, but don't slingshot. Bring the right hand inside the right foot. Heel toe it parallel. Tuck the toes on the left. Engage the quad. Find your low lizard lunge. Now lift the upper back as you come through cat flexion. At the bottom of the exhalation, inhale the right leg high. Exhale, round the back. Knee to chest. Inhale it up. Bend the knee. Stack the hips. Look under the armpit. Exhale, round the back. Knee to chest. Inhale it up. Look under your left elbow now, send the right foot over the top, come to your funky wild thing. Lift your heart, look at me. <laughs> Rotate the upper body, right hand down, right leg high. Gaze between your thumbs. And then slowly put your left hand in your pocket. Breathe. Left hand down, round the back knee to chest. Drop it under the navel, inhale the left leg. Touch your chin and chest. Good. Inhale up, left knee meets the right. You're at the front of your mat. Tuck your toes. Find your toe stand. All right, we play Bakasa Vinyasa. We jump back. We lift. Come on. Engage your Mula Bandha. Lean on your arms. Lift your heart, Bakasana. And then when it's time, send the legs. Inhale up. Oh, yeah. Exhale, Adamukas Vinyasa. 
Lift the heels. Hop, step, or drop your feet between your hands. Roll out to your back, right into your wheel. What? A little Iyengar vinyasa. Look at me, Becky Strickland. <laughs> yes. There's a little two-minute flow of Iyengar. Black and white film called Iyengar Flow. You gotta get you some of that. Come on out, bring it easy to your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. And you also a surprise. Nicely done. Good. Make circles. Massage the lumbar spine. Roll along your spine. Come to sit. Alrighty. Come upper, cross the ankles, come on up, and let's tuck the toes. <laughs> sit on your heels. Hands to heart center. My legs feel better. That's good. The Advil's kicking in. Uh. Press the thumbs into the chest, lean back. Fleck is playing his thighs. All this equipment, he plays his thighs. That's an Eagle Scout. <laughs> lean back. <laughs> Lift your heart. <laughs> Rotate the shoulders back and down. Good. Open up them feet. Oh, yeah. Open up your shoulders. Open your heart. Chin to chest, come on forward. Untuck the toes, hands in Anjali Mudra. Lift the knees as you splay the metatarsals wide. Keep everything yearning towards the center line. Lift. Open the ankle the way it wants to go. Rotate the shoulders back and down. Weight into the palms, you release. Lift the knees, splay the metatarsals wide. Bum down, heart up. Throat open, head back, eyes closed. Slowly bring the chin to the chest, come on forward. Hands under the shoulders as you tuck your toes. Drop your belly as you come to Marjasana, Pitalasana, Cat and Cow. Tuck toes, drop your belly, pull your heart through, look up. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Pedal, babies, pedal. Spread the fingers wide. Externally rotate the shoulders. Relax your head and neck. Good. Distribute the weight evenly in the hands and feet. Yeah, man. Wide awake. Alive. No better place to be. Lift your heels, bend your knees, hop, step, or jump your feet to the front of your mat. Inhaling halfway or to Tadasana. Exhale back. Inhale, rise. That's the hustas and thumbs together, palms together, tuck the tail, lift your heart, gentle back bend. Hands to the heart center, Samasti D. Bow your head. Collect your thoughts. Breathe peace. Remember why you're here. And then throw that out the window, because you came to learn yourself, whether you knew it or not. A little self-study. Inhale the arms. Hinge of the waist and leave with your heart. Uttanasana. Inhale halfway. Exhale back. Inhale rise. Reach, reach, reach. Hands to the heart center. Sweep them up. Inhale. Exhale fold. Inhale halfway. Flat back. Exhale back. Inhale, rise. Reverse swan dive. Hands to heart center. Pick the toes up on the right foot. Place them down. Don't grip. Find a level part of ground you can stand on. Good. Tuck the tail under. Micro bend to the knee. Shoulders are back and down. Ears are in line. Find your dristy and inhale the left leg. Open it slightly to the left. And then place the sole on the inside edge to the right anywhere. Hopefully but the knee. Option to stay at the ankle, the floor, or the upper thigh is fine. Inhale your arms, shoulder height, spread your fingers wide, Vrikshasana. Now get you some of that. Spread your hands wider, reach to the right and left. Tuck your tail, breathe peace. Inhale that knee. Oh, you dingle dangle that broken branch now. Good, send it back at a 45 degree angle, sending and extending the right leg, inhale the arms. Lift the ribs from the hip. Look out over your right middle finger. And reach and fold, Utita, Trikonasana. Arm is vertical, perpendicular to the floor. 
Right hip is tucked, left hip is open. The heel of the right foot draws a line to the arch of the left. The gaze is up to the hand but the crown of the head. You're in for my voice. Turn inward, close your eyes. Do honest yoga right now. Close your eyes. Yeah, that's where the shit's hidden. That's the joy. That's the peace and the harmony and the balance that only yoga can give you. Good. Engage your mula bandha and inhale up. Arms are parallel. Bend that knee generously to the right side. Pick your toes up. And when you're ready, hover the left foot. It's time we dance. Fingers here as you run and flex the foot towards the center line. Nana mudra, chin mudra, and the thumb and index finger gentle bend to the wrist. Bend that knee. Oh, damn, Shiva. Nice. Good. Sweep it around to the side of your mat. Grab your left wrist, lean right. Close your eyes and smile. Nice. Come on back through center. Hover and dance, Shiva. Bend that right knee so you're bouncing. You're floating. Good. Come through neutral. Bring the knee through Switzerland. Enhance the heart center. Point it towards the ground. Reach back with the left hand. And inhale. Not a run, Justin. Come on out. Inhale the leg. Extend and hold. Release and let the F ankle meet the right as you inhale. Exhale, bow. Uttanasana. Breathe. Inhale, halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Hands to heart center. You know what's coming now. We got this. Start from the foot. Whole periphery of the foot gets in contact with the mat. Now lift the arch. Micro bend to that left knee. Tuck your tail down. Shoulders are back. Your heart is up. Your belly's in. Your gaze is down in front. Inhale that right leg. Exhale, steady. If you got to move around your mouth, do so. We're on a lawn, you know. Open to the right. Place that leg anywhere on the inside edge of the left. And open the arms outside. Spread the fingers wide and get you some. Breathe peace. Breathe light. Inhale the knee to the elbow. Hold. Dingle dangle. Sweep that right foot back. Extend the left leg. Inhale the arms parallel to the ground, palms face down, and then reach. Reach out of that left little finger, reach. Look past your fingers. Keep reaching. And finally fold, Utita Trikonasana. And it may feel different on this side. Of course it does. Tuck that hip, open the right. Gaze up, lengthen the neck though. Don't let the head drop. Now push down with the left hand, reach up with the right. Reach with the toes on the left foot. Ground down through the inner and outer, edge, outer edges of the right foot. Lift your pelvic floor, big as you could be, and inhale the arms. Good, lift the toes, generous bend to the left. Engage as you look out over the left, and inhale the right leg to hover. And then we dance, Shivas. Dance, Shivas. Move around. Sweep that right leg to the left. Grab your right wrist, lean left. Open your heart. Close your eyes and smile. Come on back. Hover as we wiggle and then bounce. Floating. Hands to heart center. Knee through neutral. Pin the heel towards the sitz bones and point the knee towards the ground. Reach back with the right leg. Square in the hips and shoulders. Arabesque in the hip. Not around Justin. Get control of your breath. Get control of your consciousness. Good. Release the inhale. Bring the foot through center. Extend that right foot. Hold. Bring it. Release it to meet the left as you swing the arms up. Exhale back. Uttanasana. Inhale halfway. Exhale back. Inhale rise. Reach, reach, reach. Hands to heart center. Pick up those toes on the left foot, put them down again. Micro bend to the left knee, inhale the right. Send that right foot back, square all ten. Rotating the feet to the right, all ten toes facing the east. 
Lift your heart. Hinge and fold. Prasarita. Paros. Tanasana. Hands come in line with the feet. Inhale. Halfway. Exhale. Follow your heart, not your head. And if that crown of the head makes it to the ground and you want to kick up your feet, let it rip. Very slowly inhale up halfway. Good. What is your front foot? Left? Yeah. Okay. Rotate those left foot, all ten toes face left. And then right from here, as you're deep in your parts for Tanasana, why even bother to fool around? Let it rip, Hanuman. Woo-hoo-hoo. Yes, yes. Take it out for a ride. Don't look at me like that, Bonacci. Lift your heart. Slowly fall. Oh, inhale up. Walk the hands to the right. All ten toes face the east. Oh, daddy, we're too deep. Too deep, pickles. I didn't sign the waiver. In forward and fall, put your chin. Oh, lift up halfway and rotate to the right. And let's take it, Hanuman. <laughs> yes, lift your heart. Yes. Mindful of those hamstrings but take them out for a ride. They're getting better every day, ain't they? Slowly hinge forward and fold, look at your knee. That's nice. Inhale up, walk those hands to the left. All 10 toes face the east. Now look at me now. Oh, you get you some grass. Kerry Sanders, I need mandatory eye contact here. Lift your heart. Hinge forward and fold. Take your arms out. Reach with the fingers and lift your heart. <laughs> yes. Sorry about the view, Christine and Fleck. I apologize. Bring the hands underneath the shoulders. Lift up. Left knee in. Right knee in. Come to sit on your heels. Okay. That was a warm up. We're going to start class now. We're going to start in splits <laughs> and then go right to handstand. <laughs> All righty, kids. Very good. Spread your knees wide. Clear the calf. Put your ass down between your heels and find your hero's pose. Antonia, juvenile version of our friend Hanuman. Hanuman Asana. That's Hanuman itself, the splits. Sukta Virasana, the third, as we celebrate our friend. Squeeze those knees together. Find your edge and then lay back on your microphone. Sukta Virasana. Create length. Create length. Nice. Couple circles of breath as you walk hand in hand with your breath. As you walk hand in hand, it's down that razor's edge. That that razor's edge of discomfort and pain. No pain, but uncomfortable as hell. But we know the sound of that tune. Man, this is what it sounds like. Now, some of you are dying to take your hands on its face and the shoulders and come to the crown of the head. Some of you will take your hands to your thighs or your calves. You will lift. Some of you will take your hands back and extend the arms. That'll be you, Lily. And then slowly make your way back, tuck in the tail. Come on up to sit and take child's pose. Sorry I'm ringing you out. My body was really tight. <laughs> so I thought I was being a selfish son of a gun and just make myself long and loose. Find your child's pose, babies. But that's enough. <laughs> You're all going to meet at the Rite Aid on the way home for an Advil. Alrighty, relax, settle into your hips, put your forehead down, connect. Return to your breath and remember what you're grateful for. Remember the things that make you happy and the people you love. Think about how unbelievably cool it is to embrace this journey of self-study. This opportunity to learn of yourself when life is so freaking hectic. But you carved out an hour and a half to go learn of yourself just so you could be cooler to others, you know? And what could you want to be? If all you're doing is for is to be cooler for yourself, who's going to notice? I was saying it yesterday though, kids. It's when you stop talking about yoga that people notice. They see it in your eyes. They see it in your skin, your posture, your body, your attitude. 
you're just aware. Closer to home, always closer to home. You know how it is when you go to Virginia for the mall. You hit that bridge on the way home, you're like, ah, I'm home. Well, yoga makes you feel like that when you roll out your mat. So go ahead and bring those hands on the shoulders and inhale yourself up to sit. Good. And extend your left leg. Bring some support under it. Good. And bring the knees together. All right, clear. If you have any knee issues, we'll just work the other way. And we could do this by turning to Janusha Sasana, placing the sole of the foot on the inside edge of the left. But you can practice Triyanga Mukha Haifada, Paschimottanasana. It's the three faces. There's one. There's one. Here's one. Triyanga Mukha Haifada, Paschimottanasana. We're going to lengthen in this by coming forward, hinge from the waist, dorsal flexion of the foot. If you bring some support on your left ass cheek, it'll make things a little bit easier, especially if you're on a hill. Now come forward. Come forward. Come forward and fold. I do this one to you a lot because we get a little muscle memory for your new Shirasasana. This one you don't seem to ever, ever, ever remember. Your body never wants to, it wants to forget it. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Triyanga Mukha Parapashi Motanasana. Slowly inhale up. Bend the left knee till it comes in in front of you. Uh-oh. Get your hands together now. Grab that foot. No, don't do it, Pickle. And extend that left leg. Uh-oh. Now, stray on the shoulders back. Lift the heart. That's it, Rox. Roll it back. Lift your heart. Empty your belly and fold. Oh, shit. You feel the motion on the left side. The left side. What? The west side. I don't know how to do that gang sign. My kids do. Lily's involved in a, in a all-girl gang right now. She's very involved. I think she's the treasurer. <laughs> Slowly bend the knee, place it into the crux of the right hip. <laughs> Both sits bones down, position two of the left knee. Rotates externally and the knee goes forward, inhale the arms. And on the exhalation, twist to the left, the right hand coming outside the bent knee. Lift your heart, square the shoulders, and then ring it out, babies. Good. Untether the posture, extend the left leg. Lean to the right, clear your prop. Make your way back. Ekapata Supta Virasana. Relax. You're gonna have to take the right knee and send it towards me. You're gonna have to lengthen the spine and send the crown of the head away from my voice. You're gonna have to decompress the lumbar spine and create space along the abductor and the quad, the hip flexor and the psoas. In yoga, sometimes we're so friggin' hamstring happy, we forget about the posterior side. See, it's an agonist and an antagonist in this whole thing. And they work in harmony and balance. When the west and east work together, the north and south work together. When mind, body, spirit, and soul work together, oh dang. Good, 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 good. Slowly bring that left heel into your sit bone, bending the left knee. Reach up with the left hand, you love it. Grab it, bring it into your chest. Keep that right knee going towards me now. Oh shit, that's real. Left foot down. Lean to the left, extend the right leg, and go, ah. Oh. And here it comes. There it is. Where you go, Wayne, that's it. Now send those legs out and let a rush of oxygenated blood get to all these areas, to the very tip of each and every toe. Good, and slide the heels back onto your bum. Tuck the tail and find your Setubanda Sharvangasana. Good, breathe. Slowly articulate one vertebra at a time. Make your way back into the arms of a friend. Good, tuck the tail again. This time, take the arms with you. Inhale up, the palms face up. So does your hips. Exhale, bring them on down. Make them work together. Arms and legs. Good, push down the quads. Take contraction out of your ass and engage the abductor and the quad. Lift and bring your arms. Exhale, come on out. Good, last time, tuck it. This time we're gonna splay the toes wide, push that mat away and find a high bridge. Oh yeah. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Squeeze those knees together as if there was a yoga block between them. Lift your hips higher. And now articulate one vertebra at a time. Oh, make your way into the arms of a friend. And then send both feet towards the sky. Now keep it 90 degrees in the hip. Slowly inhale up. Woo! Oh, Paschimottanasana, come on forward and fold. Yeah, babies. Feel a difference from one side to another. Good. 
Inhale up, let the hands ride the legs. Lean to the right, bend the left knee. Clear that calf. Bring the heel outside the sit bone. Lean to the left, bring some support under your right ass if you'd like. Dorsal flexion, plug this femur into on the right side. Squeeze the knees towards the center line. Square the hips and heart, look up. Maybe you come on forward, look past that foot. Don't you dare look at your toes, come past. And then finally fold. And breathe peace. Create space from the Achilles attachment on the heel, up the back, behind the knee, along all three hamstrings, across the glute, into the lumbar area of the back, right up to where that psoas grabs the thoracic spine. That's a lot of expression. That's a lot of bang for your buck, Courtney Pearson. Oh, yeah. Slowly let the hands ride the left. Lean to the left, clear your prop. Bring your bum down inside your heel. Lengthen the spine first. Keep reaching with the head. Find your edge, make your way back. Supta Virasana Ekapada, that is. And maybe you hammock the back of the head. And enjoy the view. No rain today. Soul shining today. Uh huh. Breathe. Slowly slide the right heel in towards the sit bone. Reach up with the right hand. Pull it into your chest and squeeze. Send the left knee towards me. Oh, yeah. Oh, slowly bring that heel down. I can twist on this side. Lean over to the right and clear the left leg. Then hit your wiper those legs and just let a rush of blood come back. We'll do a little twisty. Good, good, good. Feel it? Nice. Now, I need you to take all compression or contraction out of the body, but I need you to spread your toes wide as you can. Good. Spray your toes out wider. So Iyengar reminds us all the time that the systematic intelligence of the posture is when you bring the intelligence from the brain down, you bring the systematic intelligence of the body up. When they cross each other in unison, that's when you flow. That's vinyasa. That's how it works, right? So he says over and over and over again in every part of every single posture, the details, the details, the details, the subtleties happen. So when you're in triangle, make sure the toes are spread wide. When your fingertips are reaching towards the sky, make sure you feel them and engage each and every cell and every finger you got. Good. Now slide those knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Good. Extend them legs towards the sky. Keep it rigid, 90 degrees. Flex your foot, send the heel towards the sky. Inhale up, come to sit, fold forward, Pachimottanasana. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice job. Good. Relax the upper body. Relax the head, neck, shoulders, and face. The next inhalation, you're gonna send your bum and ground him into my dirt. I need you to send your ass cheeks into the dirt. Then I need you to lift, 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 lift. Just lengthen in the ribs, and then exhale first. Exhale completely first, allow the belly to empty completely, diaphragm high, just fold forward, and I don't give a shit where your head, neck, and shoulders go, but relax them. This is Pashyamotanasana. Has nothing to do with how far your head is up your behind or close to it is your knees. It has everything to do with the angle of your sacrum. Couple more circles of breath. Inhale up slowly, hands ride the legs, bring the left knee in, step it on up and over and twist the other way. Now you're gonna wanna twist to your right, so go the other way. I didn't give you a twist on this side, so do it, oh, I'll do you, there you go. So you can bring in this left leg, bring it on up, oh, I'm sorry, right leg, good, and then twist to the right. If you wanna step it over, you can, you don't have to. I forgot to give you a little twist, good. good. Nice. Come on out, bring the soles together, let's body us. Soles of the feet together, outer edges, open them up wide, externally rotate those femurs, clear them out, good, lift the heart, look out, ancient fold, Baddha Kanasana, breathe peace, find your way, noodle, 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 go side to side, relax the head and neck, let it roll around, keep coming forward, and then down, forward, and then further down. The down is only as you exhale, as you take contraction out of the body. The inhalation keeps lifting you forward. You're grounded through your sits bones, but you're coming forward, you're creating more and more length. We're getting deeper and deeper into that iliosacral capsule. We're creating more and more freedom, more and more freedom. Inhale up, grab the toes, hover the heels. You know it's got to be done. All right. 
Don't go to the fire now, Bradford. It's your favorite part. A lot of people want to run to the bathroom at this part, but we don't have one here. <laughs> Let them rip. Oh, yeah. Lift, lift, lift. Lift your heart, look high. Lift, higher, 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 higher. <laughs> lift them higher, lift them higher, higher. <laughs> Bring them down, keep your feet. Oh, hinge the fold. This is Upo Vista, Konasana. Find your way, no one loves it, but tough shit. Someone's gonna do it to you. So, might as well be me. <laughs> Have a good time. It's, and you know, and the problem is, it's how we are, it's so subjective that we all um, define a good time in a different way. <laughs> so that's all right. We're just gonna figure out a new definition for good time. Just go find yourself. It's good. Go hang out with yourself. It's cool to be in this spot. It's, it's amazing to be in this spot. Slowly inhale out halfway. Now I need you to rock on that ilium a little bit. So flex the feet and externally rotate them. They need to go towards the back of the yard. You've got to get them out of the way. Or you won't be able to buy this real estate cheap. Everything's cheap right now. Come forward. Hinge forward. Come on over to the left. Turn the palm over. Maybe you grab the foot, maybe you don't. Maybe you turn and grab the big toe. But you reach back with the right first. Inhale, up, up, and above, like a big ass rainbow. Reach far, far, far. And then finally fold. This ain't it, but this is. Parivrita Janushirsasana. A variegation of Parivrita Parigasana. Oh, yeah. Revolve, Ted to knee. Open your hearts now, close your eyes. Ground down through that right sits bone. Create length all along that side body. And breathe. Good. Slowly roll the whole body forward. Stay low. Walk them through like we're getting underneath the fence. Get underneath. Then come on over to the side. Reach back with the left. Up, 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 and over. Finally folding. It feels different on this side. Of course it does. Open the heart. And that's how it looks, but this is how it is. And then close your eyes. But if Rita Janusha Sasana. Oh yeah. Space. Good. Drop the shoulder. Come on through forward. Come to the center and inhale up. Then I take your hands to frame the right foot. Pick yourself up and twist that trunk 45 degrees. Whoop. Hinge down. Hinge down. Keep the shoulders on either side. Bring that left shoulder down with the right. They come down equidistant to each other. Good. Inhale, let the hands ride the legs. When they hit the knee, inhale them up. Rotate them, bring them together. Rotate the upper body. Rotate, rotate to your frame the leg. And then you hit forward right past that foot, y'all. Good. Bring the shoulders down equidistant to the ground. Use your breath as the rudder. Good. A few circles of breath. Inhale up. Take the hands to the knees. Bend the knees. Whoop. And come on, folks. Bring them out. Mat distance apart. Maybe more. Who knows? Grab the top of the shin. Pull the heart through. Look up. Exhale. Round the back. Cat flexion of the spine. Inhale up. And exhale. Round the back. Chin to chest. Good. One more time. Inhale up. And exhale, round the back. Uh, do it again. Why not? Close your eyes. Good. Exhale, round the back, chin to chest, and slowly make your way into shoulder stand. Roll if you'd like to, but careful with the chin. Oh, microphone. Salamba Sharvangasana. Make your way out, right into the appropriate counter pose known as Matsyasana or fish, flying fish if you'd like. Good, lift the heart and open the throat. Good. Nice. 
come on out of this appropriate counter pose when time needs. <clears throat> when you're ready, bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Good. Extend the legs, roll along your spine, and come to sit. We'll talk for a sec. Alrighty. So, we're going to get it now. So, some of you can have different things. So, if you haven't done this before, we're just going to explore it. There's many ways to get into it, but typically you'd use the wall. And I like to get into Dwipada Vibrita Dandasana from headstand. But we're not going to do that here today because of social distancing and I can't come spot you all and we don't have walls. So we're going to come in through whether wheel or Urdhva Dhanurasana, upward facing bow is in your game or not, it doesn't matter. What we can do, because all we're going to come to is the crown of the head and that could be it. If it's just a bridge that do Bandha Sharvagasa, it doesn't matter. We're going to bend our backs, but we're going to do it a little bit different. <coughs> we're going to take the hands down to frame the head. I don't like doing this because I have no skin on the top of my head from sunburn and it just wears out my bald head. But I'll do it for you all. I'll do it for you. You have the option of walking around if you'd like. Only you, though, because I don't mean to do that, but I just, just, she's almost ready. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to make your way to your back. This is going to be, you just did your inversion ahead of your back bend, but we're ready. And I got this microphone on my back. We'll see how this goes. So you're going to prepare just like you would for wheel. Bring the heels into the sits bones, but I need you to lay your feet out, maybe just 15 degrees. Hands come under the shoulder blades, and then you tuck the tail, coming to just the crown of the head. And then you bring the arms down. Frame the head, and then you walk the feet out. Now look, the heels will come together. You will open the feet, you will extend the legs, and there you go. Oh, what a delightful heart opener. Your turn. <laughs> you got it, you love it. Ow, my head. I'm gonna get a really thick full head of hair one day. <laughs> I'm going to spend all the kids' at college funds on plugs. That seems like a good decision. Yes, Strickland. Now, just the left weight on the crown of the head. Not too much. And if you want to bring your forearms down, you do so. Interlace the fingers behind the head. All right, Bonacci. If you're comfortable with that, it's time to walk the feet out. Bring the heels together. Splay the knees. Yes, Carrie. Yes. Keep lifting your heart. You have to open up under the shoulders. That's how it works. When you push the feet away... You send and open the heart and the shoulders. Now, Lily, anybody that's out of the position, I want you to look. I'm sorry to do this to you, Lily. Spread, extend the legs, Lily. Bring the heels together and lift the heart. Send the heart towards the house, Mama Sita. There you go. That's three part of repeat the Dandasana. Oh, my baby. Well done. Good. Come on out whenever you're ready and relax. This is not supposed to be happening to be easy. You know, right away. The first time you try it, if it doesn't work, good. Then what the hell would you need me for if you could do all this stuff, right? So, and then what would I have to do? Good. Yes, Bradford. Well done. Come on out. All right. Listen, this back bend is a complete and utter indication of how open you are from here to here. So this is it. Look, back bends happen. It's funny. Back bends and inversions are funny, but back bends in particular are a lengthening of the front, right? The whole entire side. This, none of this will bend until this shoulder can go this far away. Look, if I can't get my shoulder behind my ear, how could I ever possibly do it, right? But this is what we're doing. All we're doing is learning. Right there, all you saw was a deep back bend. Oh, damn, she's got a back like a linguine noodle. It doesn't. She's just worked on her shoulders enough till this opened up. And when this opened up, so the next time she would do it, and we'll go and play with this again, is we'll go ahead and come to where we're laying on our backs. We'll hammock the head just like we would prepare for Shirasasana, and then you'll roll back. But it's all gonna just happen. But I noticed, and I've been watching this out too, and this happened to me, and I mentioned this the other day in class. I went in and took a class, her and I, and uh, I took a class online with my continuing education thing, and uh, I was mortified. And this is what made the self-realization part of yoga at the forefront of my consciousness now. I got in there and couldn't do shit that I used to be able to teach. I could eat a sandwich in Ashtavakrasana and teach you the whole time, talking the entire time. I went in there and could not do it pure humility I was off she rocked it I could not and I was so excited that it was time for me to stop teaching and practice on would say it a thousand times what good teacher doesn't have a practice if a teacher does not practice they're not a good teacher and it's as simple and rudimentary as it sounds but it's so so true I didn't have a practice all I was doing is teaching and I went in there and boom boom now I'm practicing again and things are opening up and things are opening up and things are opening up then I was so excited and I thought about this yesterday because we were doing our little vinyasa from headstands, right? And then she and then him and we were going and doing our thing and I want everybody to pass me. 
I just want everybody, everything I want you to show you, I want you to do better than me. And better and better and better. And if I could just keep giving you all that, you give it to somebody else. And I'm so, I'm having such a good time watching, especially this group and, you know, the, our little family that's been through this COVID quarantine. Everybody's practicing is evolving something fierce. And some people are renewing their, their vows to yoga and coming back and getting their chops back. And, and others are exploring new territories. This is the shit you can't get from anything else. This You can't get it. You can't get it from anywhere else. And it's so fun to just keep giving and giving and giving. And that's it. I'm so excited. Get into an inversion before I go nuts. Do something. Stand on your head. Levitate. Make some sense, for God's sake. Do what makes you happy. You've done everything. You bent your back. You did 10 inversions. You've done 45 back bends. Do whatever you want. Go roast the marshmallow by the fire. I don't care. Breathe peace, though. Breathe peace and live their practice. Share your practice with yourself. Send a breath to a friend. Revisit your intention. And maybe you reset it. That you'll be a better friend. That you'll be a better partner. That you'll say kinder words. That you'll not judge. That you'll embrace new things. You'll try something new. You'll get better by the hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoy your view. Close your eyes when it's time. Enjoy the sounds. Sounds of birds chirping, fish are jumping. Christine and Fleck, a strumming and a banging. Oh, Dan. Uh huh. Find a place I'd rather be, I dare you. Ain't happening. Come on out whenever you're ready and take the appropriate counter pose, but don't you rush. Enjoy yourself. So, for you uh, shoulder standers, it's fish, head standers, it's Child's pose, Balasana. For your restorative inverters, maybe it's a happy baby or a supta barakanasana. Good. Give yourself a squeeze. And then everybody, if you want to, make your way to your back for a quick recline twist. We won't stay forever. Take whatever mudra with your legs you'd like. But drop your knees one way and your gaze in the other way. Keep your arms maybe to T, but no higher than your shoulders. Scoot your bum over in either direction so that your spine stays parallel with the long edge of your mat. And then just take contraction out of the middle of our body as we prepare to breathe and then progressively relax. Good. And move with your breath as long, as slow as you want. Feel the twist from behind the navel and feel the sheaths of connective tissue and fascia along the rib cage and even the digestive organs. Because that muscle, you know, that fascia is not just around the muscle fibers. It's all through our whole digestive cavity. So if we start breaking free some of those chains of rust, they'll start to work better. Don't mean to be grabbed, but our bowels will work more efficiently. We'll digest more efficiently. When you've done both sides, no rush. Come to sit up comfortably, and if you have anything to elevate your hips, I would love that. And you could sit cross-legged or whatever is comfortable for you. We're just gonna do a little deer gut pranayama tonight. Some three-part breathing. So relax and come to sit when the time is right, not one breath before. So sit comfortably and make sure we get this triangular foundation. So Sukhasana easy pose is uh, not just sitting cross-legged with the kids on the carpet kind of thing. It's a true triangular foundation so that you could sit comfortably for long periods of time to prepare to meditate. So you know it's Niyama, Yama, or Yama, Niyama, Asana, Pranayama. And then we get over the 50-yard line where we get nutty. This is where it starts to get into Pratyahara, Dhyana, and Dharana, and eventually self-realization. But right now, we're just gonna make our way up to midfield, you know, and we'll sit and we'll breathe. Dirga Pranayama is a three-part breathing. And I originally learned this breath in college, which was a long time ago, before some of you were born, by a progressive relaxation professor who also had a uh, Pepsi breath. 
Back in the day, non-tenured professors always had another gig, you know. And uh, he taught me because I was commuting to school uh, when I was going back and forth. And uh, I was a type A lunatic with high blood pressure and I moved too fast and I was very aggressive and, and uh, things like that. And he asked me while I was driving to practice Dirga Pranayama. He said, first and foremost, grab the steering wheel and when you do, actually feel it. That loose the grip and feel the steering wheel, the texture of your steering wheel. That immediately drops your shoulders away from your ears and the autonomic and the, the sympathetic nervous system start to kick in and your blood pressure drops. Then he's like, breathe. Now, he, I had to keep my hands on the wheel, of course, because it was the Garden State Parkway, which is a miracle that I even made it here this far. But you would do sitting up comfortably is put your left hand on your belly, your right hand on your heart. Lift and sit up nice and tall, but without a lot of rigid constriction. And then we're going to breathe into the belly, the ribs, the chest. Hold. We're going to exhale, chest, ribs, belly, but sitting. So here we go, inhale and exhale. Now inhale, swell your belly. Ribs, chest, fill it up, hold. Exhale, chest, ribs, weave. Belly empties, scoops out, you can feel it. Trace these ocean waves. Inhale, belly, ribs, chest, hold. Awareness of the retention. Exhale, chest, ribs, belly. Awareness to the bottom of the breath. Inhale, belly, ribs, chest, hold. Exhale, chest, ribs, belly, aware. One more. Inhale, belly, ribs, chest, chest, ribs, belly. Nicely done. Slow as you possibly can. Make your way to lay on your backs comfortably as we prepare for Shavasana. <coughs> Excuse me. And then lay back. Get warm. Stay supported and comforted. Fall into the arms of a friend. So we talked about in the last couple days and I don't want to bring up anything that makes you funky or whatever but scientists are agreeing pretty pretty uh, collectively that you know this bang theory of our creation has left a white noise that hovers in the universe continually it has an X amount of hertz 430 hertz 32 and it's the very same vibration like a pool of vibration, like an ocean of vibration, as you're hearing coming out of that boy's nose. Right there. That's the vibration coming out of that bowl. That's ohm. So take contraction out of your body as my friends massage you internally and externally with their sounds and their vibration. Relax soles of your feet. Relax the muscles across your chest. Release your breath. Let it come in and out however the heck it wants. And soften the head, neck, shoulders, and face. Release the lower jaw, the tongue, space between your eyebrows. The next involuntary inhalation brings peace. You exhale fear. The next involuntary inhalation brings light and love. The exhalation gets rid of anxiety, judgment, anger. The next inhalation brings your head and heart a little closer, or your heart and mind, excuse me, a little closer. And then all of a sudden, the next exhalation starts to blend and meld and yoke and union, the unity of mind, body, spirit, and soul. The next inhalation reminds you of the people you love, the things you're grateful for. The next exhalation is pure love. Oh, we're getting it now. 
Breathe in peace and light. Breathe out love and more love. Think about the people you love, the places you love to be with them in. You know the deal. Next inhalation lets yesterday go with forgiveness. The next exhalation embraces tomorrow without expectation. Breathe in peace and light. Breathe out love. Soften your face and enjoy your journey. Take them for a ride, society.
Your mother and my mother. Fear is the cheapest room in the house. I would like to see you living in better conditions. For your mother and my mother were friends. I know the innkeeper and this part of the universe can get some rest tonight. Come to my verse again tomorrow. We'll go speak to the friend together. I should not make any promises right now, but I know if you pray, somewhere in this world, something good will happen. God wants to see more love and playfulness in your eyes, for that is the greatest witness to him. Your soul and my soul once sat together in the beloved's womb playing footsie. Your heart and my heart are very, very old friends. We are shaped by our thoughts and we become what we think. When the mind is pure, joy follows like a shadow that never leaves. Babies ever so mindfully and thoughtfully take a conscious breath. Just bring a nudge of your spiritual self back to yourself. Whatever you want. Take the tiniest movements to your fingers and toes. Wiggle your nose, lick your lips. Nudge yourself physically back to your space. <clears throat> then roll your head side to side. When it's time to roll into the arms of your friend, take one side or another, it doesn't matter. Which one, if you want to embrace your feminine side, roll onto your left side. If you want to embrace your masculine side, roll onto your right. Stay supported, stay warm. We mentioned our first sutra just before. Atta Yoga Nushasana. We commenced in some yoga. Now we'll get right to the business. Next one down the road, 1.2, Yuga Chitta Vrita Narodaha. The cessations of the fluctuations of a busy mind. The dance that we just practiced was to steady you and settle you until your mind could stop wiggling and squiggling like a bunch of squirrels in a box. And then you look inward, because you can. It is then that the seer is within. You know what happens when you see yourself. Give yourself a big old smooch. And you bring the very best version of yourself to sit whenever you want. And we'll move down the road in our little Patanjali. So Google Maps, Schmaps, maybe we'll get some Patanjali. <laughs> some Patanjali, uh, that's the word I'm looking for, Maps in our little yogic journey. But the, the one that comes to next is, uh, of course, is uh, Ishvari Pranidharma. And that is just a surrender, a surrender to your own higher self, you know? It doesn't have to always be to this, this iconized, ideological, theological form or image in your brain of a higher being. It could just be that you surrender to the higher being in you. And uh, that's just trust in your heart. That's just knowing that what's inside of you is pure. And uh, you aren't, I find it so hard to believe that you're born any less than perfect, you know what I mean? And, and it's just that sometimes the pushes and pulls of life just settle on us and maybe veil our very best version. But there's a twinkle in your eye, you know? And that twinkle in your eye is crazy. And uh, she'll tell you, she sat up here 10,000 times more than I have. But people sit up after a yoga class and they got that, that it's not an endorphin thing. It's, not an, it's more of an endorphin thing than an adrenaline thing, but they have that yoga high look, you know? They have a twinkle in their eyeballs because they're just, they're purely divine. They're, they're at their very best version, you know? And they sit up and it's amazing. It's just amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. And uh, that is the reward sometimes of teaching yoga is just coming up and seeing what's going to leave your studio or your yard or their mats and what might happen an hour from now or tomorrow 
and maybe somebody's going to say something that makes somebody's day. Maybe if we skipped our practice and we weren't with ourselves, maybe we could have ruined somebody's day with a sentence. I could. I was cursed with a tongue that could ruin somebody's day with one sentence. And uh, I am so not proud of that. But I'm working. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. And now I, I take two breaths and I try to react spiritually instead of environmentally. And I, I'd rather make your day with a sentence any day. Shit, ruining somebody's day is so in my past. It's unreal. Um, so say nice words and roll up your mat and take all that light and all that light and love in your heart and, and uh, go brighten up every place, you know? There's nobody that doesn't want to hang out with your ass when you leave a yoga class. They're dying to see you when you get home. When my kids, when I used to come to do three classes a day and, and over there years ago, if I missed one, they'd be like, go, go, go. You're making me nervous. And then when I get home, it was fun. You know, I was just happy to be around because you're always the best version of yourself. And we just have to keep taking that and making it more and more and carrying it longer and longer and longer and revisiting this feeling and getting back to this right now so that you could take it and the, the effects are exponential. And the snowball gets wider and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And when anything that sucks, we just roll over with our big snowball of love, you know. And uh, that's it. Um, thank you for honoring me with your practice again. Thanks for allowing me to be your student because uh, um, uh, I might have lost myself for just a minute or two and uh, I'm glad to be back and uh, I like being a student again. I watched and learned with you as you were doing your thing today. And it's hard to have a really less than perfect yoga practice when they're behind you. That's the Bohemian Song Society. Good God. They, uh, they make every move happen and every word come out of my mouth. They're amazing. Unless it's stupid. I don't blame them for that. But that's it, man. Thank you all so much for being with me today. And thanks for uh, filling my cup back up again until uh, all the way till tomorrow. we got to wait all the way till tomorrow to do it again, damn it. Maybe not. Maybe not. If you want to do it again, call me later. I'll do whatever you want. <laughs> the light in me thinks the light in you is golden. Thanks so much for being you. I love each and every one of you, man. Namaste. Ah, the Bohemian Song Society. Peace and light, y'all. Thank you very much. Peace and light. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was delightful, friends.